The Building Bridges to Borrower program began in September 2000 as a tree planting partnership between North Sydney Council, Borrower Council, North Sydney Bush Care and Borrower Community Land Care. The key focus was to preserve the habitat of the superb parrot, a local threatened species and the iconic symbol of Borrower. On-farm planting projects continue to reduce salinity and increase biodiversity. There are a number of different reasons why farmers might plant trees on their property. Wind breaks for stock. Tree lines provide shelter for stock which improves their performance and farmers profit margins. Erosion control. Using trees and deep rooted perennial pastures to assist in utilising excess water and reducing runoff. The object is to divert and modify the flow of water to stabilise gullies. Protection of existing superb parrot habitat to minimise livestock damage and allow natural regeneration. Riparian projects are revegetating creeks and gully lines which will eventually improve water quality. There are a number of different types of plantings. Protection of remnant native vegetation. Fencing off creeks and riparian works. individual paddock trees. Cluster plantings and tree lines. The options for tree line and cluster plantings are either direct seeding or tube stock. Borua Community Landcare Group offers a contract service for direct seeding and this is ideal when you need to plant large areas in a short time on a limited budget. They're especially ideal for habitat and diversity plantings and excellent wind protection for livestock. Tube stock. Having volunteers to help plant the trees is greatly appreciated. A group of volunteers can achieve in a weekend what would take a landholder a month. In response to trees dying around the Borrower District, a number of landholders were asking questions about conventional management practices. Borrower Community Landcare Group was formed in 1989 and early work focused on catchment hydrology studies and salinity mapping. This led to strategic and informed planting of trees and perennial pastures. These on-farm projects to reduce salinity and increase biodiversity continue. I'm Elizabeth Mason and I live here with my husband Peter. This property is called Hawk Hill. What sort of got you into planting trees, Elizabeth? Well, there virtually were only single paddock trees on the property and they were starting to die. Um, we decided we'd like a, a bit more shelter and we thought we'd go with um, more native Australian. And have you seen any other benefits from using those native species in your, in your tree lot? Quite a number of bird species that have been recorded on this place. Uh, it creates a, a way that small birds, the way we've done ours with corridors, can move around the property without being exposed to predator species. And have you noticed any other benefits from the tree plantings to your, your livestock? Well, yes, it provides good shelter. Um, shelter in the winter from uh, driving rain and uh, wind chill and in the summer shade. And have, what, what sort of methods have you used over the years in terms of sowing technique? Uh, we've tried tried nearly everything. Mainly tube stock and then we have done a small amount of direct seeding. Rod Blake, I'm the manager of the property Illyria uh, on Rye Park Road, Borua. Why did you get into planting trees on this property? When we came here 30 years ago, the country was basically denuded and um, with just lamb losses, stock losses off shears, um, we needed to do something about um, the wind situation. Um, we needed to lift productivity. Um, so 
it just happened to coincide with the time with um, land care funding started and it all came together that way. So have you seen some benefits to your property and livestock since you've done those plantings? Um, generally yes, in that, that we don't have losses, lamb losses or off shears losses that we previously had and I think basically the country is a bit healthier. What's your preferred sowing technique for, for trees? Have you, have you tried a number of different I don't things? think there is a preferred, I think you just pick it on the site if it's a really wet site. I think um, tubes might be better and if it's a better drain site, um, direct seeding is fine. What's your greatest challenge that you've come across with any tree planting? Have you had any particularly good or bad years? Or I think every, yeah, every year is different but basically weed competition is the biggest. You know, spraying out properly is the most important thing and you know, preparation, um, making sure stock are excluded. Some stock you can't do anything about like kangaroos but basically yeah, just stock exclusion and weed control. Would you have any advice to others who are sort of wanting to, to get in and make a start to make some Just to have a go. You can only stuff it up. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I mean, there are direct seeding plots here that are, well, you could almost class as failure, but they're better than nothing at all. Hi, I'm Shannon Darnell, and you're on Maluna, our property of 500 acres. When we came here, the place was basically almost bare of trees and we decided that we wanted to um, improve the property and build some shelter um, and really attract some bird life. And I saw um, a landline uh, program about the potter plan in Victoria, how it had uh, regenerated these very degraded farming properties and turned them from dust bowls into really lush areas and I thought that was quite inspirational and that's the way I wanted to go. Yeah, we had a, a guy who worked as part of the potter plan develop a plan for us that we've sort of modified a bit but, but fundamentally followed about how to put tree lines in and where to put them and, um, and I guess we've experimented over the years and developed um, evolving strategy on that. And uh, I mean, our first tree lines were not ripped and only three wide and, and then we started ripping properly and, and uh, going wider uh, to four lines and, and the last ones I think we actually made five wide and I, you know it, it just seems to be better result from that. And what's your preferred technique to sowing trees? We, we've done a couple of uh, plantings with, with direct, direct seeding and in, a, in part of the Whopper program and I guess it's the timing of you know the sort of year it was and, um, and but they weren't what we would call successful with the, the tree line over on the hill we've come back a few years later and, and North Sydney came in and and we um, <coughs> filled everything in and it, it's um, it's it's progressing really well now we've been able to secure quite a bit of help yeah. over the years from Greening Australia, Australia and from Land Care, um, there are quite a few options out there. I mean, it was expensive exercise, and it funded a, a tank and pump and reticulation system, and um, that wouldn't have, just wouldn't have happened otherwise, um, or it might have, but it would have been very slow. So we're able to do it in one hit, um, which is the best best result. Have you had any great challenges <coughs> in your tree planting? Any, any oh, particularly yeah. stands out? Or? Um, yeah, one planting, you know, we were away and the the, uh, you know, the water level in the dam dropped and the, the fence line we protected, the trees come in, the stock got in and had a good chew on them, which sort of we thought devastated it, but it, uh, it came back, so um, not as good as the other sides of it. What would be your advice to someone who was just starting out? To, how would they go about um, well, planning or...? Talk to people that have done it. Mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of land care run seminars and uh, Greening Australia and LLS run seminars now. Go to those because they're the people that are around here 
that have done it for a long time have been through the same experience. The Building Bridges to Borowa program is a unique collaboration of bushcare and landcare. The importance of this urban-rural partnership and its persistent success over the past 17 years is testament to the hard work, dedication and enthusiasm of all involved. Thank you.